let's look at this quantitative reasoning on the board. Now, looking at this, we want to look at it to be able to get a rule or steps we are going to use to work out the number two and number three. Now, if you look at it, the fish look here will tell you that if you multiply two by itself, it will give you four, right? And if you even add two plus four, it will give you six. Now, does it work for the number two and number three? If it doesn't work for the other two, that means it cannot be achieved. We can't use it. It is not a rule. So, three times three here will give us nine. Nine multiplied 21 will you give us 210. Automatically, it's not the rule. We're not going to use it, right? Let's check another one. If we have 12 multiply 4, it will give us 48. And I feel that zero we should use. We have here 12 times 4 will give us 48, right? 4 times 12 will also give us 5 as a 4 times 12 will also give us 48. What else can go there? We see that 2 multiply 6 will give us 12. We say 2 times 6 will give us 12, or 6 times 2 will also give us 12. What else are we seeing there? We also have division. 48 divided 12 will give us 4. 48 divided 4 will give us 12. And 48 divided 12 will also give us 4. So when we have gotten this through, Let's look at number two and see how we can implement it here. Looking at it, we have here 12 times 4 will give us, and here 12 multi 21 multiply a number will give us 210. That number is not here, so automatically, where we have this 48 divided 21. So we're going to have 210 divided 21 to establish the answer in this one first. That means this is A and this is B. For us to get our answer in A, we are going to divide 20, 210 by 21. So here we have 210 divided 21. If we divide it, you are going to, when you cancel, 21 here is 1, 21 here is 1, and how many times is there? So we have 10 here. This is what? 10. That means 21 multiplied 10 will give us what? 210. We have achieved this A. Now we are going to B. What do we do in B? In B here, we are seeing 2 times 6 times 2 gave us 12, or 2 times 6 is 12. So we are going to have 3 multiply B will give us 21. 3 multiply and answer here will give us 21. How do we achieve it? We also have that 12 divided 2 will give us 6, or 12 divided 6 will give us 2. Since these two are already written, so we have 21 divided 3. Or we say 3 multiply what will give us 21, which is 7. So we are going to have this down here. 7 times 3 is 21, or 3 times 7 will give us 21, right? Now let's look at number 3. How do we get this and this? Assuming this is A and this is B, how do we get the 2? Following the rules or the steps that we have already given, please, I want you to also attend this. I will be in the comments to see your answers. Hope you enjoyed the class. Please, you can subscribe to our channel. You can like and also share. Give us a thumbs up in our comments. Bye-bye.